easier initial step is say, hey, let's detox you at home where you're comfortable. And during that detox process, we can talk about ongoing treatment afterwards. So that initial step, which is, of course, uh, required medically, can be done in the comfort of your own home. And during that time, when you start to think a little bit more clearly, because now you have the substances leaving your body and your mind is becoming more clear, you're then in a better position to talk about ongoing recovery and treatment. So, you know, we, we work very closely with interventionists. Uh, and a lot of our patients, to your point, are executives, athletes, celebrities who, you know, it is hard for them to take a step back and to re put a reset on their life. But once they take that initial step of detox and they realize how, how much better they feel, then they're much more apt to go into a more long-term treatment setting, you know, because they have to finally have that perspective of what life could be you being sober. So Welcome to another exclusive interview by Recovery Today Magazine at recoverytodaymagazine.com, where first and foremost, we're a magazine of hope. Whether you're considering addiction recovery for yourself, a loved one, maybe you're actively in recovery a little while or a long, long time, you're going to find all kinds of cool stuff, topics, information, resources about really living a happy, successful, and sober life at Recovery Today. And it is no exception today as well. My name's Rob Hanley. I'm the editor-in-chief of Recovery Today, and as usual, I'm joined by another guest I'm really excited about. Interesting. He has a company that's very, very service-oriented, um, and uh, it's helping a ton of people, not only around L.A. is where I thought, but actually in multiple different large cities around the country, particularly now with COVID. His name is Dr. Abe Malkin, and he is the founder of Concierge MD L.A. and Elite Home Detox. Dr. Malkin, thanks for jumping on. Nice to be with you, Rob. <clears throat> Absolutely, man. So I'm going to jump right into it. So we're, you're a little younger than I am, but I remember when I was a kid, you know, doctors made house calls and you had doctors, you know, showing up with their black bags and they put the stethoscope on and things like that. And probably by the time I was a teenager, maybe before I went into college, like, you know, the Joe, there's a lot of doctor jokes about, you know, they don't make house calls and things like that. But obviously there's a huge need for this. And so you've put together elite home detox and you're providing um you know concierge type services for people that need this um i i, I think particularly now during uh, the covid situation it's got to be a really in-demand business how did you how did you come up with this idea yeah thank you you know thank you for that introduction um as you mentioned you know concierge medicine is something that's been very important to me i think that providing individualized care to people in the comfort of their own home, on their schedule, making healthcare convenient for people as opposed to something that they dread is really important. Um, and so many things in, you know, in society these days, uh, it, it, technology plays a role, you know, convenience plays a role. And I think in medicine, unfortunately, we've been a little bit behind the curve. My goal in starting my concierge practice was to try to change that you know, in, in whoever, whoever I deal with. with. Specifically with regard to addiction recovery and detox, you know, I've worked with treatment centers across Los Angeles and patients across the country. And I found that, you know, for certain patients, treatment centers are fantastic. However, there is a subset of patients who do require, you know, a little bit more handholding, a little bit more personalized care, uh, you know, more discretion, comfort, and, you know, sometimes getting them to go to treatment center might be difficult. However, getting them safely detoxed at home is, a, is an option that they prefer. Uh, and that's kind of how Elite Home Detox uh, bore out. Uh, and now because of COVID, there's an even greater demand for, for in-home care as people don't want to be around others, potentially getting them at risk. And people are finding the value of, you know, other tools like telemedicine, which are you know, often equally as effective as in-person care. I, uh, as we were saying kind of before I, I, I hit the record button, I'm a big, um, I'm a big kind of a, a enthusiast of the lemonade out of lemons type of story and people being innovators. And instead of going, oh God, like, you know, what am I going to do now? There's some kind of an opportunity. And where, when you and I connected, or I should say online, when I discovered you, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Because immediately I thought, oh yeah, people were saying, I'm not, I would never go to the hospital. So I, I just love overall what you're doing. And it's, I mean, with your background, I read your pedigree, you know, you're, you've got an MBA, um, you, um, you, you know, your, your medical background was really stellar from everything that I could read. 
you could have gone any number of directions. You'd probably just be another, uh, I shouldn't say another, but you'd be a, you know, one of the frontline workers dealing with this. But now um, I, 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 my hat is off, really off to you. So tell me a little bit about what kind of services I'm thinking opiate crisis I'm thinking of depression some things like that what's kind of the um, uh, the soup du jour what's what is the general thing that you're looking at at helping people with sure uh, you know with regard to you know our in-home addiction recovery care uh, especially now during COVID we're seeing a lot of relapse unfortunately for those that are having depression isolation a lot of mental health issues surfacing uh, and what we're trying to do is to create a national standard for at-home addiction recovery solutions, which include both home detox and potentially aftercare treatment as well for things like alcohol recovery, opiate addiction, uh, and some mental health disorders as well. And more than just simply you know, safely detoxing a patient, what we really try to do is to, to determine what are the underlying issues that are generating you know, patients' cravings and uh, poor behaviors and address those issues. So whether that be doing a full-scale uh, hormone review to understand if patients are having any imbalances or micronutrients, or just making people feel better about themselves after the detox, which will enable them to live a happier, more fulfilled life uh, and ultimately maintain recovery. Those are really the important aspects that I find in a proper you know, recovery solution. Uh, and again, the goal here is we really, there's, you know, this industry is very fragmented. There's recovery treatment centers all across the country, but we would like to create a national brand where people know what they're going to get. They have, there's a level of quality and care that they can come to expect uh, across the country. So it's really interesting to talk to a doctor, um, uh, I mean, an actual, an MD, because in the past, Everything has been about, it's kind of compartmentalized, like there is your physical body, but when I think of um, addiction, and I think most anybody, we're thinking of trauma and mental issues and, and things like that, but really this is actually all very connected. I, it, it didn't occur to me to think of hormone levels and things like that, but it is very much a connected type of a, of a situation. I'll give you an example. You know, opiate addiction causes a massive decrease in your testosterone. So when you finish, you know, an opiate detox, you might be safely detoxed, but your testosterone levels have bottomed out. So you just don't feel well. You have yeah. low energy, low libido, and you know, it's hard for someone like that to 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 maintain their sobriety when they just don't feel well. So something as simple as depleting someone's testosterone post an opiate detox can be a life changer for them. And it's something that people don't think about often, you know, or patients with alcohol issues may have very mismanaged electrolytes and nutrients. So giving them on a vitamin IV program to help replete their levels and make them feel like they did pre addiction is a game changer for them. So, you know, it's looking at the whole picture and the holistic view of a patient as opposed to just narrowing in on specifically substance use and treating that alone, but treating the entire patient really leads to better outcomes. Is the, um, are the typical patients that you have, and, and, and by the way, I, I do want to put this in here now as well is I know that, um, where I had first discovered you was Concierge MDLA, your, your website. There's also Elite Home Detox. My assumption, of course, had been that it was LA. And, um, but it's not because now we have telemedicine and you can actually do a lot like this and then send somebody out. So where, overall, where are you guys, where, where are you covered and how does telemedicine figure into what you're doing? Sure. So I'm licensed in 12 states at the moment and hopefully another 18 is coming soon. So about 30, hopefully by the end of the year. But, you know, our primary states that we operate are California, New York, Florida, um, Connecticut, New Jersey, Arizona, Illinois. You know, those are the top several states. But again, in the next year or so, we intend to be uh, functional across the country. And thankfully, you know, because of COVID, they have loosened telemedicine restrictions. So it is acceptable now to manage care remotely using telemedicine tools, whereas before it required an in-person visit. And of course, we would like to create the infrastructure to allow for in-person uh, uh, medical care eventually. But in the meantime, given that there's so much uh, uh, unfortunately, so, so many cases of, you know, people relapsing due to, you know, the isolation and depression we talked about, we do want to offer resources for people that don't have other resources, you know, even via remote tools. 
Now, with regard to the oversight, we, we do have in-person nursing care for all of our patients to ensure that things are done safely. But the medical aspect of it currently is being done via telemedicine in, in a lot of cases. Are you guys, do you also do, what about if I understand and in my mind, I'm thinking like a football player and maybe it's not just um, uh, high net worth people. Maybe it's just somebody where it's, it's, it's not, it's not really a, a feasible for them to go away to a treatment center for 30, 60, 90 days. Um, mm -hmm. But what about the person that, um, you know, is not thinking about going to treatment? Do you have uh, interventions or, or is it, is it, oh, it's, oh, I'm thinking like it's almost like treatment, obviously treatment comes to you, but what are, what are some of the things that you have there? Do you have, do you deal with people that aren't, you know, that they're, they didn't call you up? Are there interventions? So yeah, so the beauty of what we offer, and we're like an interventionist best friend, because when you're trying to do an intervention on someone and get them to go to treatment, you know, it is, it can be very challenging to get someone to get on an airplane, fly to a treatment center, check it, uproot their entire life. Yep. But a much e easier initial step is say, hey, let's detox you at home where you're comfortable. And during that detox process, we can talk about ongoing treatment afterwards. So that initial step, which is, of course, uh, required medically, can be done in the comfort of your own home. And during that time, when you start to think a little bit more clearly, because now you have the substances leaving your body and your mind is becoming more clear, you're then in a better position to talk about ongoing recovery and treatment. So, you know, we, we work very closely with interventionists. Uh, and a lot of our patients, to your point, are executives, athletes, celebrities who, you know, it is hard for them to take a step back and to re put a reset on their life. But once they take that initial step of detox and they realize how, how much better they feel, then they're much more apt to go into a more long-term treatment setting, you know, because they have to finally have that perspective of what life could be you being sober. So you give them, we, you we kind of give them that moment of clarity. Is that, that's kind of what I'm understanding. And, 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 you know, thankfully our nurses are excellent and spending five days, five days, 24 hours a day with someone really puts them in the position to make an impact on them, much more so even than a family member or a loved one. You know, they, they, they're letting, putting their lives in the hands of our medical professionals who then develop a close rapport and are able to guide them to make better decisions. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing this siren here, so I'm talk, talking to the yeah. doctor. Just want to acknowledge the elephant in the room. That's not in my house. That's it. That's where you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you do facilitate then stuff. But so after getting them detox, do you guide them into a twelve step, into a non twelve step? Is it kind of how do you how do you help them and assist them into um, reconnecting? I guess socially. Sure, and, and we really try not to take a one size fits all approach. So we really yeah. do make an individual plan for every single patient. We, and runs the gamut. Some of our patients, when they finish with us, end up doing essentially a, a full-scale outpatient in-home IOP program where we coordinate their psychiatry, their therapy, their DBT therapists, their fitness, fitness trainers, nutritionists, all of that in-home. Whereas other patients tend to go to treatment centers for 30, 60, 90 days to get their treatment. But we really try to make it so that whatever does work within your personal, yep. professional situation, we can accommodate. Because the last thing we want is to, you know, have only one option that doesn't work for everyone and then lose people along the way. So if somebody uh, tells you, they, 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 they say, I need to get off drugs or I need to detox. And then they have that moment of clarity. There's not a dogma like it has to be, hey, go to AA or somebody's going to say, I don't want to do that or I want to do this. You just guide them and facilitate, I guess, is what I'm understanding. Yeah, you know, some of our patients utilize online uh, uh, telemedicine consults yeah. with providers. So we hook them up with a very low cost uh, platform. It's, it's actually called Monument, which is fantastic. It offers uh, telemedicine with physicians, telemedicine with therapists. So anyone can seamlessly fit that into their daily schedule. Uh, other people who really need a little bit more hand holding, they may decide to go into a treatment center where they're going to get the luxurious accommodations they're going to get the really top-notch you know, first class care really depends on the person and what they're looking for what they're able to accommodate how long is the treatment is this um, multiple different days day one two three four five how long do you I, I, I mean you come out and what is a typical visit like maybe for opiates or something like that look like 
a typical detox lasts anywhere from five to 10 days, depending on the substance. Mm -hmm. During that time, there's a nurse with you 24 seven attending to all your needs. You know, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you have anxiety, they're there to talk to you. If you're feeling nauseous, they're there to give you medications. And the idea there is to help you understand what is a typical detox symptom versus actually what is a medical issue. Yeah. Then uh, there's a provider that checks in with you every day, a medical provider. At the day around day three or four is when we bring in outside inter, uh, 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 case managers and other types of providers to talk about what does aftercare look like? What does the next 30, 60, 90 days look like? And at that point is when we develop the game plan for you to help you maintain your sobriety. So one of the things I discovered that I couldn't wait to ask you about in terms of detox, um, I'm, I'm a big advocate of, um, I love anti-aging. I love the whole idea that, you know, you can avoid uh, chronic illness in your life if you could stay younger. So you probably already know where I'm going with this is I love NAD. And mm -hmm. I have, I, I've heard like the most revolutionary things about NAD, about NAD plus, NAD plus. Can you tell me about some cool stuff about this because this is really big, man. I, I'm, it's real cool and it's a perfect fit, I think, in my mind for concierge and for elite home detox. Tell everybody a little bit about what you're doing with NAD. Yeah. The exciting thing about uh, you know blending concierge medicine with addiction medicine is that you're catching people at a moment in their life when they're really trying to make a difference and they're willing to do whatever it takes to live a better life. And for a lot of people, it's hard to get them to make those changes. But thankfully, those who've gone, decided to make the difference and go through a detox, they're willing to do whatever it takes. When it comes to anti-aging, there's a couple of really important things. NAD, like you mentioned, which is an enzyme that helps your body produce chemical reactions and basically declines as you age. So when you're 15 or 20 years old, you have high levels of NAD in your body. But after you hit age of 35 or 40, those start to decline. And when you replete NAD, it's as if you're putting brand new oil into a sports car. Your body is now able to produce more dopamine, more serotonin, repair your brain, flush out toxins, and essentially rebuild your body from the inside out. So that's one of the reasons why people really turn to NAD, especially post detox, because your body is depleted. And it's one of the few things that you can do to quickly make a difference in a very safe way. There are... And the key to anti-aging in general is to find out what in your body is degraded over time and replete that. So NAD is one thing. Yeah. There's many, many other things. Peptides, for example, are yeah. a great alternative for people. Stem cells. You know, the list goes on and on. And it's, it's wonderful because this is a time when people are really willing to, you know, make the difference in their lives and utilize some of those tools. That was actually where I had found out about, about NAD Plus was actually um, – Somebody I saw on Joe Rogan, as a matter of fact, try to think you probably would know who the doctor was. He's really like super famous in anti-aging circles. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think what his name is, but uh, Reardon? what is it? What is it? Is it Reardon, the stem cell guy? And he's uh, some Harvard, like he's the most advanced, renowned. It'll come to me in a minute. But um, so from there, I wasn't looking at anything at all about mental health or anything. It was just merely like, how can I stay younger and, you know, look, you know, everything like I don't, I want to get old, you know, so yeah. or before my time and I want to stay healthy. And then it was, um, not there long thereafter, I started hearing about NAD used in detox. And I was like, wait a minute, like I've heard about this before. And I started hearing some of the most miraculous things like, you know, the detox is faster. It was people just felt terrific, not just that they weren't on drugs, but they just felt freaking fantastic. And then other people would say like, God, you look younger, you know, like, you know, what, what, you know, so um, really, really cool stuff, man. Um, it, it's a powerful, it's a powerful molecule. It, it's basically like giving your body a blank check. And I say that because it works in so many different ways for someone with, you know, brain issues, it will help repair your brain. For someone who's using it for anti-aging, it'll help protect your DNA so it doesn't degrade over time. It will repair skin blemishes. It will improve your mood and your sleep. It, it's fantastic. And I, I'm glad you're bringing it up because I'm a huge advocate of it for it, even for, you know, patients with addiction, even for patients who just want to use it for general anti-aging. So I, I applaud you for, for, for talking about it. Yeah, like I said, and I, I, you know, before we started talking, I'm like, I'm a real big fan. I, I love it from the entre from what you've done from the entrepreneur aspect, and I get it like so, uh, you know, so much. Like, 
Some people want the anti-aging is a giant niche, and but it overlaps. I mean, it's it's you know good for you. I, I really really think that it's cool. So also you mentioned stem cells, so you can lead people into stem cell therapy. Obviously, I'm a big advocate of that kind of thing too. Yeah, you know, as I mentioned before, there was a patient I treated who was a former football player, a lot of sports injuries, a lot of degenerative arthritis in his body. Had been using opiates to treat pain but we finally got him to do a stem cell infusion to actually treat the underlying issue, regrow tissue, reduce inflammation, and it was miraculous for him. You know, other patients of mine who have, you know, aging related, low libido, low, low energy, we put them on a testosterone replacement therapy program or a peptide therapy program. It will help increase your growth hormone, increase your testosterone in a safe way and make you feel young and, 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 and vital and energetic and, live life without having to use a substance to, to support yourself. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Um, so what are the states that you're actually in right now? And oh, I, I know what I was going to ask is, do you do other types of um, medically assisted detox? Are you, uh, you, know, are you using um, Suboxone or anything like that? Or is, is NAD mostly what you go to? Is there kind of a bread and butter for your, for your um, detox treatment protocol? Yeah. We'll, we'll obviously use whatever's required to safely do a detox. So, you know, certainly in some cases, suboxone is required or other medical assisted detoxes. I do try and encourage patients to consider alternative treatments, which are just better in the long run for them. But, you know, we'll do whatever it takes to do something safely and, and with as most comfort as possible. And are you... Uh, are you also doing anything dietary wise with people to help them like, uh, or supplementation in terms of the overall care that you're giving them? I mean, I see everything here from detox to family counseling to um, all of it. What as, about, as what part about of our, Yeah. As part of our holistic uh, view of the patient, we often do full blood lab panel, which includes food, food sensitivity testing, gut microbiome testing, micronutrient testing. These are things that you probably wouldn't get at your normal doctor's office, but I do regularly with my concierge patients and people are amazed at what they find. You know, they never knew that they had a shellfish sensitivity and that was causing inflammation, which was leading to poor immune system and poor sleep, which has caused a myriad of issues for them. And just simply finding out some of those deficiencies have been a life changer for that. So, so just for a quick second, cause just to geek out for just a half a second, I got to talk about, because you're right, like your regular doctor is not going to test your microbiome. And I like to think that I'm kind of on the cutting edge of getting information because I get so much information in. Tell everybody for just a minute, like what that is, because your regular doctor is not going to, and that can really, I mean, steer you uh, literally left, right, up, down. Yeah, and especially now in, in during COVID, your microbiome is vital for your immune system. What your microbiome is, is in the inner lining of your intestine, billions and billions of good bacteria live there. You yeah. know, so not all bacteria is bad. These are good bacteria which help in digestion, help aid immune system. And if the mix of bacteria is off, for example, if you've recently taken antibiotics or if you've had digestive issues and you've basically cleared out a lot of the good bacteria, you're going to now have nausea, bloating, stress-induced IBS, things that may have gone on for years and no one's really addressed it. And the underlying issue is an imbalance in your gut microbiome, which is so important. So I really try to test that in a lot of people who, even those who don't necessarily have GI issues, you may find some really interesting things that, that underlie a lot of the issues people are having. Very, very interesting. It's very cool. Um, so, what states are you? What states are you in? And because obviously, if somebody's in LA, they can call you up. They can have you come over, have part of your uh, yep. company, your staff. But where where are you available? Yeah, primarily we service California, New York, Florida, Arizona. Uh, but I would encourage people because we are in, moving to any other states like Illinois, New Jersey, Connecticut, Washington, Oregon. We will be there very soon, and you know we always can make accommodations for people that need us. So uh, we're, our goal is to be in all 50 states you know, in the next couple of years. Right now we're focusing on around the 10 or 12 core states that we, we service, but we're hope, hoping to expand very soon. And then of course, I, you know, I just mentioned it in passing, but one of the services that you offer is that you're, you do um, COVID testing. So people don't want to go to the hospital. They can not only do detox and things like that and anti-aging, but also in the age of COVID. 
yeah, we make we again we try, our goal is to be the uh, mobile medical provider across the country. And right now, COVID is what most people want. But then, you know, the beauty of it is that people do you know find us through COVID testing, but then realize all the other services we offer, and you know, realize wow, this is a lot more convenient than going to the doctor sitting in a waiting room, sitting in traffic. I could just have someone come to my house. So hopefully, that will help us continue to get our name out there and to allow people to continue to see the value and the convenience of having a concierge doctor. Really, really cool. And what is your website and your social media? So, so uh, conciergemdla.com is my concierge practice, at conciergemdla on Instagram, uh, elitehomedetox.com, and at elitehomedetox on, on, uh, uh, on Instagram. I, 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 again, like I said, big fan. My hat is off to you as an entrepreneur, being in the mental health space and really healthcare. Um, cool stuff. It's helping a lot of people. And um, I, I just like, just, especially with telemedicine, man, you're like at the exact right spot to help a lot of people. So thanks a ton. I know that you're super busy. It was very difficult to get just a little bit of time with your schedule. So thanks for jumping on and letting, uh, letting everybody know about this. I think that, uh, um, you know, it, our, our readers are going to appreciate it quite a bit. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, this has been another exclusive interview by Recovery Today Magazine, Dr. Abe Malkin at uh, Concierge MDLA and Elite Home Detox. Thanks so much. And this is a wrap.